Hello, good afternoon, my name is Alice and on this video I'm going to talk to teach you how to fork Ethereum local mainnet uh, uh, locally. What is a fork? A fork of the Ethereum mainnet is a copy of the blockchain that will run inside your computer and where you will be able to manage uh, some accounts in order for testing your contracts and sending transactions. Uh, here I am in a, the tools that we are going to be using is Ganache and Hardhat. Hardhat is our bridge between JavaScript and the blockchain. And Ganache is a tool for running local blockchains in your computer. Here are the web pages of, of, of what tools Ganache and hard hat. Also we are going to be using Alchemy. In Alchemy they give you one API key that allows you to communicate with the blockchain. So without any further ado, let's jump in. Um, I am here on an empty um, on an empty Hard hat project that I have just initiated, and I don't know why I I don't see npx hard hat init. Oh, and there we go. Um. In the meantime, go at while it in initiates, let's start over. Oh, I want a sample project. Um, yeah, there is the world. Yeah, 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 everything. And it will create the the fields needed for. It would download the dependencies, et ether gs and another dependencies that are needed to interact with the blockchain. In the meantime, let's run our Ganache clip. It is run with a very simple command. <clears throat> um, so, all we have to do once we have installed Ganache is run this command. Ganache cli with the with the flag fork and then paste here over alchemy key. For getting over alchemy key we must go to our panel here and click and be in view key. As you see they have they currently support a lot of networks so we can fork any of these networks um, in the same way. So Ganache cliff fork and here we must pass over over uh, our API key but I don't want to show you my API key so I will go and copy this in another window um. I will store it as an um, environment variable. Okay, done. So I can <laughs> now do, do that. Ganache clear mm. keep I store it like that and Ganache clear fork and then we pass the network ID 
I am going to be using 999 mm, with network ID. So I guess I didn't copy very well. Mm. Excuse me, one second. Okay, done it. There we go. And with that, we are now, we have forked the blockchain. Um, what else can we do? Um, for connecting Hat with our local blockchain, we are going to have to edit the Hat config file um, to point to the to the network that we are going to be using so we must add um, one object here in our model exports that says networks and there we put all the networks that we are going to be using uh, I write this because um, as I see here I got this ID here so I put this here and I put the port um, that is that appears here that is the default provider mm, and now let's make a test for that, you can now connect your MetaMask to to your local home, to your local network. And there I am. I am connected, and I have oh Ether. I will now send some Ether to my MetaMask account that currently listen to our local copy. In order to do that. Um, Let's make a, a script here. Um, let's import iterators first. Um, um, we must specify the UR of the blockchain that we want to listen and we must initiate an ethergs provider ethergs is a very good library uh, when I started I started with web3 but uh, I have found that ethers is a excellent tool and I think it's Hack hat with ethers together make a great combination. Um, so the provider is like the connection with our um, URL. Um, we initiate a signal uh, because we are going to be sending some some fake ether to our MetaMask. And then we say who is going to receive the ether. Um, this is my address. In case you want to give me some ether, I copy it from here. It so that's my address because I'm going to be sending me some fake ether. And 
<coughs> Here is a transaction template. Um, this is the way you can send a transaction in in ether.js. Um, I get the address of the signer. The Ganache uh, give us give us some some signers in order to to test. Here we have. I am going to be using so this address that is funded with 1000 ether and I am go this is the parameters of the transactions is from this address to to me that I am the receiver and I say how much do I want to send uh, ethers.js has this library utils that allows you to to parse ethers because Ethers is managed with big nums and and in a very strange notation. So with this, it's easy to say I want to send one ether with parse units, and here you say how much in ether. And the hash will be the what we get when we ask the provider to send the transactions with these parameters uh, so let's run this um, let's write over hash a new terminal got a hash so we sent one transaction for from our local network and we can check that here oh our local blockchain set us sent set us that we had one transaction with this hash with this block number and in fact if we go right now to our MetaMask account, we've got one either. Pretty nice and pretty easy. In that way, you can connect your MetaMask account to a local fork of the Ethereum mainnet and interact with a copy of the blockchain. Thank you so much for watching. I am Alice and see you on the next one.